So hopefully by now you've, since you're in college, have written a paper or you've started to write papers. And if you haven't, well, you're gonna, you know, you've got English class, you've got history, you've got biology, psychology, journalism. Even in my programming classes, there's a few times where I have students do write-ups. And one of the things that we need when we're doing a write-up is some type of software to do word processing. That's the magical word there, word processing. Now, we don't typically use something like Notepad. Notepad works, it's great for taking notes, but one of the things that we prefer to have is this ability to sort of format our document. So it actually has kind of a little bit more, I wouldn't say pizzazz, but it has a way about it that just kind of works better than something like Notepad++. Now, word processing application, that sounds like a big fancy word, but really all that means is it's a type of software. You know, if we think about all the different types of software on our computers, you know, one of the things that we all use every day is something called a web browser. Well, that is a type of software. Another type is word application, or word processing. They do different things. They have interactions. They work slightly differently. And so the one that we focus in on at Cape Fear Community College in CIS 110 is the wonderful, wonderful CIS, uh, Microsoft Word. It's a great program. It, you've probably, again, gotten a little familiar with it if you've ever written a paper uh, in the past 20 years uh, because everyone uses Word. It's kind of universal. Even people who graduate out of here, you know, just because you think that it's uh, Microsoft Word, you got to learn it for college. It, you still need it. And one of the things that we need to do is we need to at least even look at the idea of how to kind of open it up. You know, I can't just double click on a file and it be there. You know, again, you see, I've got nothing on my desktop that looks like a Word file. I've got an Excel file, which we'll deal with later, but I don't have any Word files. So what do I do? So we've got our little start menu icon here, and if you're on a Windows 8 machine, you've still technically, if you got the 8.1, they've upgraded it to it, but we have this start menu icon here. When we click on it, it gives us a slew of options, and one of those is, you can see, mine's already in there, but guess what? Now it's not. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Ah! Well, one of the things we can do is you can take a look down here at this guy, this search programs and files, and if I simply just type Word, look what pops up right there, first item. Now, what happens if I don't like to type? You know, uh, I'm a lazy person. My keyboard's all the way over here, and I'm, I'm oh, I can't, I can't reach the keyboard from all the way over here. I'm serious, guys. What do I do? What do I do? Well, that's where all programs comes into effect. All programs. This guy. I click on that. This is going to give me every single one of the applications that I have available on my computer, like uh, GIMP for when I'm doing graphics for you guys, or uh, Firefox, uh, Sublime Text for my programming courses. But if I scroll down, you'll see that we have something called Microsoft Office 2013. I click on this, look what I get. I get an entire slew of the entire Microsoft Office suite, all of the different application software pack, all the application softwares uh, that come with the Microsoft Office Suite. And if I want, I just click on Microsoft Word, and there it is. Let me do that again since it popped up on my other screen. I'll even do it with the typing version, Microsoft Word. I can click on Word 2013, and boom, this pulls up a blank document that I can start to type here on. Now here's a little fun trick for anyone who's actually paying attention to these videos and not already exited out. Here's a little kind of Easter egg for you. If you, let me even zoom in for you a little bit on this. We'll learn all about zooming in a little bit later, but if I come in here and I type in the equal sign L-O-R-E-M, lorem, parentheses. Now, it seems weird. Ooh, magic trick. 
So lorem actually uh, produces what's known as the lorem ipsum, which is just a bunch of fake text. This is actually not real text at all, but it looks Latin. And this is actually something that programmers and developers use to sort of add content to a page or a computer program when there isn't any done yet. So guess what? You just learn something new every day. Go ahead and try that on your own computer.